What's up everyone? Welcome back to Beyond AR TV. My name is John and you're watching my weekly countdown series 7 on Sunday. Today, I am going to be talking about 7 songs that helped me get through my high school years. The ones that kept me going, pushed me through, whether I needed motivation, whether I just needed something that I related to, or whether it was something that I was shown and really just experienced with others. These are the seven songs, or at least seven of many songs, that helped me survive high school. I know a lot of my viewers are probably in the high school age range, so if you're going back to school soon, or maybe you already have, maybe check out these songs, or else let me know some of the songs that you relate to that really help you get through the day to day. What didn't help me get through high school? Probably wearing pink shirts and having a mohawk or a funny haircut. It's not exactly the most accepting school that I went to, but fortunately times have changed. I had a lot of good friends there, and honestly, I did enjoy high school overall. It wasn't the best of times, but it definitely wasn't the worst of times. And if you do hate high school, I'm so sorry. I hope that this video helps. Now this one's coming in low on the list because I, I gotta say, if you don't have this song on your list of like high school frustrations, then you're doing something wrong, especially if you're from like my era, the early to mid 2000s, everybody was jamming good Charlotte. And not that I'm still in love with this song at all, but the anthem is the epitome of teenage angst, just a turning point, a rebellion against authority. It's catchy, it has some pretty fun and spry guitars on it, it's definitely a sing-along, something just pushing back and saying, down with this, I don't want to follow the rules, so I'm not gonna. The angst is real, the emo overlord tendencies are real, but this was definitely something that I came back to time and time again, especially when teachers were like, you should be listening to that type of music, and I'm like, hit play. Oh wow, what do you know, John from ARTV put another Green Day song in one of his videos. Well boohoo, bitches, because Green Day did get me through some very hard times in high school. I didn't have a tough life, but I had a lot of things that I guess I would say were emotionally frustrating for me, and this song isn't so much one of those. I could have put a myriad of different songs from Green Day on this list, but I decided to go with Longview because I have specific memories connected to this. When school starts back each year, you go through this phase where you're not exactly in it. You're in this other world where you still feel like it's summer, but you also are walking the halls of the school each day, and Longview just played up that drama for me. Something where I just felt like sitting around, twiddling my thumbs, doing nothing, and I was so bored every time the bell would ring to start the day. Longview vents that teenage summer frustration, and just frustration in general, in the best way. That looming bass line from Mike Dirnt is iconic, and obviously Billy Joe's vocals and Trey's drumming here really drive up quite a storm. At number 5 today, we have About a Girl by The Academy Is. This is a very underrated band in my opinion, and while this album that it comes from, Fast Times at Barrington High, is a little bit cringeworthy, especially in places, their first two albums are actually pretty damn excellent. This song is from the more cringy album, but it is a great song that definitely related to me, at least at the time. I think we've probably all, especially if we're probably over the age of 12 or so, had that crush, whoever it is, boy, girl, doesn't matter, change the words of the song for yourself. About a boy fits just as well as it does about a girl. But obviously for me personally, this is something that each time I would either have an interest in someone or would just be like, oh, oh I wish that I could ever have a lover or some girl kind of girlfriend or something. About a girl was the go-to. You'd kick it on, but I was too nervous to talk to girls because 
I was kind of a dork. Big surprise there, but yeah, I wasn't exactly the most suave guy in the world, so therefore this was something that was on repeat. Definitely a MySpace profile song at one point, and something that I probably shed a few tears to. To be loved, to be loved, what more could you ask for? It's all in the song, and it's still a pretty damn catchy one. The next cut I have on the list is actually something you may have never heard of. It's titled Leaving Town by a band called Dexter Freebish. They didn't really have any other hit songs, not that this was a big hit by any means, but I heard this used in a movie and I could not resist. I remember downloading it at my friend's house in probably 2007, 2008 when I discovered it. It came out in 2000, but this is something where the singer is telling the tale of someone who's run away, a friend that's basically gone at this point, and he's saying, go, do your own thing, live your life, but maybe one day you'll come back to this town that you originally came from. The chorus here is definitely huge. I love the motivation that I just feel when I listen to this song still, because I can remember what younger me felt when I listened to this song. It's like something clicked, something turned on for me, and the fiery guitars that would light up each time the chorus rolled around, it was a great story, and it's something that I just felt inspired by, because it made me think, one day I can get past the barriers of this hallway. I can do other things with my life. I have a very embarrassing clip that I'm gonna play for you here, because on the last day of high school, the last day of classes at least, I decided that it would be a great idea to just tear out of the parking lot in my Mustang and just blast Fat Lip by Sum 41. Got about an hour of footage today and I'm heading out of this parking lot. No more classes, ever. Just the exams were out of here. Let's kick it. <laughs> As you could see, I was definitely a pretty spiffy kid in high school. I knew how to dress, I knew how to style my hair, I had it all going for me. But what I didn't have was any self-awareness. Oh, 2010 John. Hey, if you're young and you like to party, this is still a song that I think a lot of people will know. It's something to definitely rage to, to just cut loose and just say, down with the system that's in place, but also let's get drunk, turn up. Have fun! Show your friends a song that they may have never heard of because all it is these days is like trap bangers. Listen to something that actually has a little bit more soul to it, a little bit more substance, but still, it's quite a shallow song that's still a lot of fun. Such a smile comes to my face each time I hear the song When I Get Home, You're So Dead by Mayday Parade. It made it all that much harder when they didn't play this at the final Warp Tour and I saw them, the one song that I was really hoping for, but whatever, I'll let it slide. It's now, of course, 2018. I discovered this song almost exactly 10 years ago, the summer of 2008. My girlfriend at the time showed me this track and I was in love with it. We would jam it all the time and I just kept coming back to it over the years because it's so much fun. I love the slow intro, the slower to start, and the fact that the vocals here actually feel like they're building up to something huge and then they do unleash. It's just one of those fun songs along with several of the others from their debut album that were just fun to drive to, be reckless with your friends to, and it also seeks revenge in the song itself. The lyrics play out quite well. It's just a great tune from Mayday Parade, a band that I am definitely not huge on, but I'm so glad that I was shown this song. It's something that definitely all throughout high school I would play for my friends if we went driving, if we went to do whatever. This is a go-to. the nights that I spent emotional under the stars just taking my dog out for a walk playing this song from my phone which 
could only hold like five songs, the first phone that I ever had. It was like a Motorola Razor, and I think I downloaded it from the Verizon MP3 store. It's something that I just kept playing over and over again. And eventually, I got a phone that was called the Juke, the Samsung Juke, that would hold a lot more songs, and it was like an MP3 player. So it made it that much more convenient for me to actually do this. I would go outside and just think about all of the things that were so tough. All the girls I couldn't have, the fact that I sucked at talking to anybody, and just, in general, feeling just angsty. So, Speed of Sound by Coldplay. Thanks for being there. Thanks for being an old friend that really did connect with me through high school. I don't know why exactly this song was the one, but just the feeling of it. Everything from the pianos, the guitars, just the kind of almost ambient undertones to the song. I think it's quite beautiful, and I know a lot of people might hate on this era of Coldplay. They prefer the debut, they prefer a rush of blood to the head. I think that the X and Y era was absolutely fascinating, and songs like this are definitely staples that I continue to come back to and look back on fondly for these days. Thanks a lot for tuning into this episode of 7 on Sunday, talking about 7 songs that helped me survive high school. Let me know if you're in high school, if you've already graduated, or if you're in college, whatever. What are songs that you listen to to jumpstart your day, your week, to continuously get you through? Drop a comment and of course a like on the video while you're here. Subscribe if you are new, and you can always leave suggestions for future episodes of 7 on Sunday in the comments. If you'd like to help out the channel with a donation on Patreon, you can support monthly by clicking this annotation in the corner or else the top link down below. If you want to see the last episode of 7 on Sunday, then tap right over here or see another recent video I posted the channel right over here. All of my socials can be found linked in the description and I'll see you soon for more on Beyond AR TV.